Hey y'all, it's Laura and I'm back with Scrap Timber Day 3 and today's theme is a grid. And I decided to do something a little bit different. I do a lot of grid layouts on my channel. I really enjoy a good grid and I thought we'd do a little smash book page today. Now the smash book is kind of like a large junk journal and it was very popular several years ago and I just got excited about them about a year ago and bought a bunch. So <laughs> I've been working my way through them largely with live streams but I do have a playlist of smash book layouts if you're interested in seeing more. But basically Basically what this is is just some casual everyday pictures and lots of journaling heavy heavy journaling in this book and I do try to keep it up to date I just scrap a few layouts every month uh, just kind of documenting things that are going on around the house nothing big event wise usually it's usually just things that I notice things that we're doing and since the pandemic it's mostly based at home of course because we're not going anywhere <laughs> nobody's going anywhere and so we're mostly just hanging out at the house and we had a beautiful beautiful summer day the other day and last month it was and I noticed that all of our trees and all of our bushes were just looking beautiful the Sun was out the sky was blue and everything was in bloom and I thought you know what I'm gonna snap a couple of pictures because here in the south we're pretty lucky if we have a day that isn't unbearably hot or raining so <laughs> between the two this was a really nice day and I thought I'd take advantage and take some photos of our outdoor plants because I don't normally do that and since we're stuck at home I'm learning to appreciate some of the things around our house that maybe I didn't pay as much attention to in the past so I am using a lot of the embellishments from the Picnic in the Park collection, which is an Amy Tangerine collection. And I'm just using a lot of the stickers, really. So when I've got four two by three photos of these trees, and then I have a couple of small journaling spots and cut aparts from the six by eight paper pad uh, here to kind of flesh out the grid. On the left side, I'm going to fill it in with a poem that I found online about trees and I thought was really pretty and really poignant. And so I decided to go ahead and include that on the left side. And I'll have lots of journaling on those two spots underneath of the trees there. But yeah, lots of stickers. So there's stickers in a 6x12 sticker sheet. There's stickers in a sticker book. And then there's little puffy stickers as well. I didn't end up using those on this layout because I am trying to keep this book super, super flat as much as possible because last year's edition became so chunky <laughs> by the end of the year that it hardly stands close like you can't really close it so I really am trying not to use anything that has dimension that's just kind of super flat and I know it'll still bulk up a little bit but it won't be quite as bad fingers crossed there will be a couple of smashbook layouts up this month amidst the layouts just because i enjoy mixing it up and challenging myself to work in different sizes this little album is roughly the size of an a5 piece of paper and it's really really fun to play in i like it because it's not as thin as a traveler's notebook which is something i have difficulty working in because it's so skinny you can't get many photos in it in one page. And as a bonus, this is spiral bound, which I really prefer to work in over a folded book and insert, if you will. I just think it gives you a little more wiggle room on the thickness that the binding can handle. So now that I've gotten all my little embellishment bits and pieces added in here, I've brought in a Tim Holtz small talk tiny words phrases booklet here full of stickers and I'm going to add one underneath each of the tree pictures and they're just some little motivational words sometimes they're simply about growing sometimes they're a little bit about uh, cultivating yourself and I just thought that was kind of fun to add on to these pictures of the trees now I should mention that I am not by any stretch of the imagination a green thumb I have killed so many plants unintentionally via neglect because I forget about them. So the fact that these plants haven't died just speaks to their resilience and I wanted to celebrate that a little bit because let me tell you it is not because I have done a good job in maintaining them. It is because they flourished under the southern climate. So anyway this is, ends up being a really cute pretty quick little layout and I actually 
actually really enjoyed it, but my favorite part is the poem that I'm gonna put over there to the left. And I want to read you the poem because I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to make it out. My scripty writing that large is not brilliant. So let me just tell you what it says. All she wanted to be was a tall shady tree growing alone by a comfortable stone, swaying in the breeze taking her ease, a quiet highness basking in the silence. I just thought that was really, really beautiful. I don't know who wrote it. There is no name associated with it, unfortunately, but it's a beautiful poem. And I thought it, it spoke to how I feel about trees as I think of them as being very peaceful. I think of them as being just beautiful, something to really enjoy and a part of nature that just doesn't scream at you, you know? Like there's a lot of plants that jump out at you and catch your attention, like flowers and 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 the strong scents of lavender and things like that. But trees are, are quiet and they're calming and they're peaceful and I loved it. I love that that is exactly the kind of feeling in this poem. And so I decided to use this kind of primary ruled paper here to largely write this poem because it's a short poem so it would fit first of all and because i thought that it perfectly captured my own feelings about trees as well i did squeeze in a little bit of stamping there i have my favorite avery l tiny rainbow unicorn stamp that has itty bitty bitty hearts and stars on it so i added just a little bit of those for my scattering around the page no splattering on this one because heidi swap color shine does stay a little bit tacky after it dries which doesn't really work for this kind of a project that's not going to be in a page protector be sure to check out the scrappy sisters and today's guest caitlin clary until next time bye guys